welcome back to 5 Minute Reviews, where my opinion matters and yours doesn't. Today we're going to be talking about the movie Kung Fu Panda 4. Yesterday I watched all three of the Kung Fu Panda movies to refresh my memory for the fourth one. And after watching the fourth one, it is not the same charm as the first three. The fourth one was trying to like get the best of like all the DreamWorks movies and like captivate it and put it towards a new audience. That's what it felt like. Uh, the movie was fast paced, like 65% of it was just go, 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 rush, 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 go all the way to the very end. But it was still a good movie. Yeah, but they would just try to put a lot of information all at once and it was too much to handle. So the gist of the movie is the first one is Poe, voiced by Jack Black. He is a panda that his father is a goose who wants to be a warrior and like fight with Kung Fu. And the turtle master Uwe makes him the dragon warrior and then he goes and defeats Tao Lung, who is the villain of that movie. And in the second movie, he finds out that he's a uh, panda, and the peacock goes and kills his whole family because the, four, the future told him he was going to die from a person black and white. And then the third one is he goes and he finds a family, and he becomes the master. Ugwe is just this, he's just the master. And then this one... He is, he is the like master of everything. He knows everything, but he has to now give up his title of becoming Dragon Warrior, and give it to somebody else. So the whole the whole movie, he goes and finds this, tries to find this one apprentice and like to transfer his Dragon Warrior status to the persons. So what happens in the beginning? There's this fox thing that goes. And he's, 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 the uh, Poe is just doing his thing, defending this, the valley and all this stuff. And this fox thing is a sneaky thief who goes and steals all this stuff. But Poe says, nah, you're going to go to jail. And then she, he goes to jail and he's like, do you know there's this bad guy that's going around uh, hurting people? It's the chameleon. Because they're saying Talong's back, but Talong was uh, dead. He, was, he died in the first one. So the chameleon goes, and it could be anyone he wants, anyone, any person he wants. And then the fox and them go on a journey throughout the land. They meet new, they go to new places, and that's where it starts getting rushed. It just, it just starts going crazy and crazy and crazier. And then eventually they go, the fox and Poe, they go and then defeat the chameleon, and the chameleon, the chameleon wanted to become a kung fu master and like because people were making fun of her because she was too small and she never could have been made uh, for like the kung fu like community so they were just making fun of her for that and the end is just like he gave someone the it, he gave the role and he was like you have to do this you can do this i'm i'm still going to watch over you but i i'm going to teach you how to become the dragon warrior so basically he started from a young pup and grew up and then became the master of everyone and the peace god i guess that's basically the, the whole gist of the movie but they're making two more so there's bas not, nothing really happened in this movie but it was it was something i would give this movie a seven out of ten i really love the art style i love everything about it it felt like a Kung Fu Panda movie, but I'm glad that they got back on their feet and making these amazing movies again. But Disney needs to take a step in that direction after Puss in Boots. But it, this is there's something else. The, they, nothing could beat Puss in Boots, but this movie was good. I like this movie. Let me know in the comments if you've seen Kung Fu Panda 4. And make sure to like and subscribe for more 5-minute reviews. See you guys in the next one. Peace.